Hello and welcome to my tiny tarot practice. I'm Amelia Fruby, and on this show, I share my journey through the tarot. We're currently in the fifth and final season of the podcast, and this season is sponsored by Tarot for Creative Spirits by Cecily Saylor. Today's card is The Star. In the Rider-Waite-Smith version of the tarot, the star features a nude figure kneeling on the ground with their foot in a pool of water, and they're pouring from two what look to be ceramic jugs, pouring water into the pool and onto the ground. They kneel on lush green land, and behind them we see a hill with a tree and a red bird atop the tree. This figure has golden yellow hair, and right above them is a giant gold star at the top center of the card. This star has eight points, and then there are seven other white eight-pointed stars around it, so there are eight stars in the sky. To me, this card feels so evocative of healing and hope. I love how Cecily Saylor writes in Tarot for Creative Spirits about how the star is situated in this journey of the major arcana. She says, The star shows us what's possible after we survive a reckoning with death, after we dance with the devil and break free, after we watch the tower crumble and fall. Even in the aftermath of all that, we can feel whole, aligned, in touch with ourselves, at peace and in harmony with the world around us. And so again, we find that peace, that harmony, the healing and hope and wholeness that I mentioned seeing in this card. I also like to think of it in terms of the collective unconscious. So as I've talked about in a few of the episodes in the Major Arcana, Rachel Pollock divides the Major Arcana into three lines. The first line representing our conscious experience, the second line representing our subconscious experience, and the third line representing our superconscious or collective conscious experience. And I often think of that when I look at this card because we see almost three sources of water. We see the water poured onto the ground, which I can think of as conscious experience of the external world. We see the water that's being poured into the pool, which is perhaps our subconscious, and then it's being poured into this pool of water, the collective consciousness. And I think of our subconscious and collective consciousness as always fueling each other. And then, of course, being informed by our conscious experience of the world. But I think in the star, we find the healing nature of bringing all of those together. And I think that's partially why the star comes after the tower, because the tower is that moment when any foundations that we were holding on to that are exterior to us or false idols, perhaps, like all of that crumbles down. The systems and structures that hold us back, as we learned with the devil, all of that crumbles with the tower card. And now, finally, in the star, we're able to unite the three lines, unite the three levels of our experience, and find then the wholeness of eight stars. And so when I pull this card in a reading, I always feel deep solace. I feel a reminder that I am whole, that I can take a holistic approach, that I can bask in my entire experience of myself, And that all of that is available to me as a step on this lifelong journey. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of My Tiny Tarot Practice and for basking in the solace of the star with me. This season is sponsored by Tarot for Creative Spirits by Cecily Saylor. And I will say that the prompts that she shares for the star card in the book are so rich and juicy, inviting us to collage, to set a scene. It's just a really, really beautiful invitation. And I highly recommend getting your own copy of the book so you can explore it. As always, there's a discount code for you in the show notes if you'd like to purchase your copy of Tarot for Creative Spirits. And until next time, I wish you so much hope and deep, deep peace.